Hello everyone, T-Man978. Sometimes I buy figures because I figure they can fill in with my other figures. So I'll buy certain things I wouldn't normally buy. This looks like or appears to be a 6 inch action figure even though McFarlane Toys typically does 7 inch action figures. But anywho, this is Captain John Price from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Apparently you get some or two times XP <laughs> included inside of this. I don't know how old that game is or I'll flash that on the screen. You never know. Somebody might not have used it because they think somebody used it. So whatever. Well, let's open this and see what this is talking about. T-Man 978 Chill Review Color me shocked and amazed. This thing has way more posability than I ever thought at first. One thing I definitely thought, I thought the torso was one solid, unmovable chunk. But no, because I could tell in the box that these were smaller than a typical McFarlane. Like, I'll, I'll bring out the other stuff later. Like, they're pretty much... 6 inch scale or 112 scale when I, I mean let me put him back but I was bringing him out to say what this thing makes me think of is how the 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe are G.I. Joe and then you have those figures called corpse that are 3 and 3 quarter inch like this is sort of like the 6 inch version of corpse while the G.I. Joe classified as the new 3 and 3 quarter inch like, whereas this guy is butterly, buttery smooth to pose and just easily fall into poses. Like, I, I came into this pose by accident, to be honest. Just just moving him around and messing with it just made me get inspiration for that pose I just had him in. Like, but you could just easily just make a few movements and have him in a completely different pose. This thing... Uh, it's posable, but it, it fights you at every turn. Like, it has nice tight joints, but that works against it, to be honest. And the thing that we've been complaining about forever, and I believe, I'm not going to be too harsh on this, because I believe this was one of the, when McFarlane first started getting into this more, more posable stuff, I think this is that old where... It's using the older technology they were, they were using where they were strict, strict to the sculpt. Like nothing has popped off. Typically on those bigger figures, the legs was popping off at the hips. I'm not going too crazy with it, but nothing has popped off so far. But yeah, the materials are way stiff than what they use now. This does not come with it. This is a transformer siege effect basically this flat disc like they've been doing for their figures you get that and this assault gun right here it's funny it's like they they molded it let me look on this way it's like they molded it a little bit so that the fingers can perfectly hold it right there like that's what they planned for you to do with this hand he has no interchangeable hands which is unfortunate so when He's not holding a gun. I mean, it's it's cool that the hands are gestured in such a way. But when you're not holding the weapon, you just look like that. That's my big running complaint with McFarlane figures. Let's get a close up on John's face right there. There, he, McFarlane hasn't graduated to you, photo real technology. And if my hands look dry, this thing, trying to pose it is scraping my skin up so i'm not gonna worry myself about that don't complain to me in the comments or say something but there you are here's this stuff right here now you do get that symbol right there so let me try to darken it i don't want the details to be too oversaturated with white light but the details are all there, like you expect with McFarlane. And then he 
the color palette may be muted on purpose because this is what he looks like in the game but he is kind of drab looking which is probably purposeful but let's get into that articulation the hat does not come off the head is on a double ball post so it can rotate and whatnot and get all the tilts you can go up but you're gonna bump into that collar right here this collar i believe i can't really tell i think the collar is separate from the neck but it is very stiff and very not overly pliable so it gets in the way of that ball it's a ball post going up into the bottom of the neck i can see it so that moves and it can rotate but it's very much hindered due to the not so soft nature of this material they have the typical cup with the ball post going into the arm so you can get like a kind of butterfly effect i mean because of the way it's sculpted inward you can come inside a lot right there you get the swivel this hinge does go out like that you do get 90 degrees of bend right there it's ratcheted and this is what i mean about fighting you, you get the universal on the wrist so the hand can go in whatever position you need to hold that gun there's a ball i don't know which direction but the torso is connected to a ball post so you can go back a lot right there and even come forward a little bit and then the bottom goes forward so you get a, a little bit of ab crunch but you definitely get a lot back what why do companies do this why do they sculpt the things in such a way that you go back a ton more than you can come for it let's let's see something let's see if, if i can rotate this and then rotate that and now yeah i found a way to work around that it doesn't look crazy at all so now you get a better ab crunch but i shouldn't have to do that to get good ab crunch but luckily since it's a double ball situation i could do that the leg can kick 90 degrees forward which is cool you can go out a decent amount but because of the way they sculpted the legs back then you're getting all of that i mean I'm not saying that they don't still do that method but it doesn't look too pretty you get a, the tiniest taste of thigh rotation i mean that's actually a lot compared to what you will get but that is hideous <laughs> you get the knee and something else that they need to work on is the way they sculpt the knees because every single figure has knees that look like this no matter what type of design they have you get the universals on the foot so i can get the foot up for that much I can get it back a lot amazingly and of course if you rotate it you can get all types of ankle pivot and uh, moving this thing around I'm scraping plastic off of this thing or it might be paint some of that might have been from in the waist but the gun doesn't have any paint on it maybe yeah, I see that design right there or the flag right there so but I don't think I can't really tell. I don't think it has. Maybe there's a subtle hint of some silver dry brushing on there. I'll give it that. But here you can see right here, it will fit right in with your six inch action figures. Snake Eyes is admittedly a little bit short, to be honest. Duke is definitely taller, probably closer to his height, but he's in another room and I don't feel like it. Here's a more common Marvel Legends. So maybe they are a bit taller than your typical Marvel Legends. Let me bring in this, this Spidey body. This is a body they've been using a lot more. It's not that much shorter. I mean, they, they can fit in definitely. Let me, I do have a Bucky Cap right here. Let me get that out. Yeah, the Bucky Cap is pretty much the same height. So you can definitely see this is what we call in the U.S. a six inch action figure. And as you can imagine, Snake Eyes is capable of holding his gun. If you just want him for the gun, I found this guy for $5 at Walmart. It might even be cheaper at your Walmart. All right, let's do this before I forget. 
which I almost forgot. Yeah, it's like a little poster, technically. But here's this code if this will help you in any type of way. Here are the instructions right there. I'm never going to use this because I have never played Call of Duty. But I was kind of bad muffing this guy at the beginning when I was saying kind of like corpse action figures just evolved. This is this is a really good action figure. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm shocked, to be honest. I'm able to get him into a bunch of poses that I didn't expect. And to a certain extent, when it comes to the arms, they're better than most action figures of McFarlane because of the universal wrist. Like, those universal wrists help you get them into poses that other action figures can't get into. My only complaint is always... And I'll probably keep having to complain about this. You're limited in what you can do with them because they don't come with separate hands and separate heads like other action figure lines might come with. And this guy, maybe because they're kind of cheap. I can't even say they're cheaper because the other figures they release are 20 bucks. He only comes with this gun, which is shocking. Which is very limited when you look at some of the other $20 figures they have that are bigger and come with more accessories. But um, it's still a good action figure nonetheless. And they're being clearanced out everywhere, so you might be able to find it cheap. So I can't complain about it too much. If I find a link for these on Amazon, I'll put that in the description as well to help you out. If you can't find these at your store. Anyway, thank you all for watching this. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.